Hey everybody, Erica and Ben here. We're here in the BioLite Burn Lab to answer your top 10 Cam Stove 2 questions. And we're gonna try to do it in under three minutes. Can we do it? Maybe. I don't know, but we've got a timer to hold us accountable. Let's get started. Three, two, one, go. All right, what is the difference between Cam Stove 1 and Cam Stove 2? Number one, 50% more power. Number two, onboard 2600 milliamp battery that can store that power for when you need it, not just when the fire is going. And number three, updated uh, LED dashboard that shows you fire strength, fan speed, and the power available to you. Number two. Are the power packs between Camp Stove 1 and Camp Stove 2 interchangeable? Short answer, no. Uh, we upgraded the thermoelectrics on Camp Stove 2 and ended up with a bigger probe. Number three. How do you start a fire inside the Camp Stove 2? All packs come with fire starter. These are your friend. You only need to break off a little bit. Um, you can light it with a match or a lighter. We recommend barbecue lighters. They're helpful in windy conditions. You just light it like so, drop it in. It's okay if it smokes a little bit at first, and then you're gonna walk away. Um, so the fan will automatically turn itself on when the fire is hot enough. It's okay, I said, as it, if it smokes a little bit in the beginning, um, when the fan kicks in, you're gonna get that beautiful for vortex flame. Number four, how often do you have to refuel? Depends on the fuel. If you're using BioLite pellets, fill it up three quarters of the way, um, and it'll give you a 30 to 40 minute fire, which is great for a meal. If you're using sticks, you wanna use hardwoods like maple or oak for a longer burn, and then also the size of your sticks are important. So if you're using something really small like uh, brush or twigs, you're gonna have to refuel a lot. Work your way up to pieces that are larger in diameter for a longer burn. Number five. How do I stop the fire? Uh, the camp stove too will automatically shut itself down when cool, and if you're in a, in a hurry, you can find a safe place to dump your coals or turn it on high to burn the fire down faster, and at that point it takes about five to 10 minutes to cool off. And if you're dumping your coals, use water. Cover with water. Cover with water. Always be safe. Number six, does Camp Stove 2 work with original, original BioLite accessories? We're going to throw this one over to our beta tester, Kim. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Kim. To clarify, Camp Stove 2 will work with your portable grill, your kettle pot, and BioLite's new coffee press. Number seven, how long does it take to charge up the internal battery? Great question. With a nice, strong fire, it only takes two to three hours to go from dead to full. Number eight. What can I charge? You can charge GoPros, cameras, GPS, headlamps, and more. Um, if you're using real-time fire, it's gonna be equivalent to plugging it into the port on your laptop. Number nine, can you use the cam stove at festivals, parks, or burn bands? The answer is, it depends. There is no blanket statement. Um, shout out to our beta testers, Tony and Ruben, who actually took the cam stove to over 36 national parks last year. Um, but to quote Tony, it's best to check with your local park ranger. So check, 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 because it's different everywhere. Number 10. Why wood over gas? Great question, really depends on your situation. For me personally, when I take trips that are longer than two or three nights, the Camp Stove 2 really starts to pay off for weight because I can find my fuel on the trail, not bring extra canisters. Uh, and to quote our beta tester, Kristen, there's just something about a wood fire that screams being outside with friends. <laughs> Nailed it. Thanks for watching.